number one, and my opening batsman would be Alistair Cook. He scored so many test centuries, highest test run scorer for England at a ripe old age of, what, 28. And number two would be Stephen Fleming. Um, again, arguably, probably one of the best test captains of his, of his era. Learned a lot from him during my time at Notts. Um, a brilliant left-handed batsman, very, very flashy and, and lots of flair and, and brilliant to watch. My number three, Darren Lehman. Very easy on the eye. And also, you know, where, generally when he got naught in the first innings, he'd come in the dressing room and he'd say, don't worry lads, I'll get 100 um, in the second innings. I actually can't recall him not scoring 100 in the second innings when he did say that, so, you know, an amazing player. Um, my number four would have to be Joe Root. You know, plays the game how I think the game should be played, with a smile on your face, enjoy what you're doing. Um, and, and he's going from strength to strength, but, you know, he could be the number one batsman for many years to come. And my number five would be Dave Hussey, brilliant right-handed Australian batsman, brilliant slip fielder, um, great man to have in the dressing room, um, very witty, dry sense of humour. And my number six, um, my second dad, Mark Elam, you know, played lots of ODIs for England. Again, I learnt a lot from him, you know, growing up as a, as a young mid-20s, still learning my trade as a bowler, and I learnt a great deal from him, you know, how to play the game. Number seven, Chris Reid. His keeping was just second to none. You know, beautiful hands, moves really well. And again, you don't notice him because he, you know, he just, his keeping's very easy on the eye. My number eight would have to be Graham Swan. One, a brilliant, you know, spin bowler. You know, had a wonderful test career. And again, those guys that you need in the dressing room to, to pull the lads along, you know, those dark days when, you, when you're struggling as a team or you're feeling down, Graham Swan's your man. Uh, number nine would be Darren Goff. You know, he's one of my heroes in the sense that the way he played the game of cricket, you know, always gave it his best, never gave up, um, and always had a smile on his face. Always enjoyed every day coming into the, into the ground and, and playing cricket. Number 10 would have to be um, Stephen Harmison. Frightening, um, tall, you know, six foot seven, you know, 90 miles an hour. On his day, absolutely beautiful to watch and, you know, very scary to watch as well. And my number 11, um, tough one. I've got so many, so many bowlers in there, um, but I would have to say Andre Adams. Just terrorised batsman with his short, short run up, um, a lot quicker than you thought, and just made, made the ball talk. So everybody, that's my all-time cricketing eleven. What's yours going to be?